chopper. Looks like it missed us. Okay, that was hokey as hell. But... Okay, it is uh, uh, raining right now. Um, pretty crappy out, but uh, taking advantage of uh, no mosquitoes. But uh, I'm gonna go over some RDR gear. Uh, I won an internet contest, and uh, one of the, the things was I gotta test out the, this gear. So the first thing I got is the abdominal medical pouch or pack amp. Uh, it came, this is how it actually came. You can see it, it's got a uh, soft velcro on the back that you can flip it up. And then it's got buckles on it so you can put a hip pack on it. I'm assuming this Velcro could possibly fit some of their other gear or some body armor maybe, just Velcro on. That's a possibility. It's also got uh, black multicam uh, on the front here. So you could actually attach some stuff in a small little zipper pouch. In the oh, here we go, look at that. There's the uh, hip pack. So let's check that out quick. It's not twisted. There we go. So there you go. You got like a nice little uh, hip back. And then it. It does flip. It, it does come inside some extra Velcro. Looks like some Velcro's like zipper tie type things, and it's got soft loop Velcro inside there. Uh, so if you have Velcro holsters or anything you know like that, this would be pretty cool because you can just put them in there and you can use this to attach them in there. It looks like because it's a uh, it's the uh, soft and hook on one side. So it's reversible. So you could actually stick this in there and kind of, you know, wrap stuff around and hold it in there. So pretty neat. Neat, neat, neat. This I will use a lot because, <laughs> believe it or not, I'm a uh, hip pack kind of guy. I use them quite a bit. Uh, the next thing I got is their chest rig. Um, these are the padded shoulder straps. Everything's getting wet, but, um, whoa. Oh. Okay. So obviously some pieces just fell out. Um, this has actually, you can see the buckles on the back. So I'm gonna have to put the shoulder straps and the, the harness itself on. But if you look at the back, it's also got a big sheet of of the soft Velcro and it's got the hook side. So yet again, I'm assuming body armor and stuff, this could just stick directly on and not use the shoulder straps. And then it's got two small pouches on the front with hook and loop. And then if you open it up, you'll see that it's got a pouch that's got hook in there again. But then this came with these inserts that drop into there. Uh, this one looks like it's a triple 556. And then it looks like I got a double magazine one. So these each hold some type of magazine, maybe nine millimeter looks like. You could do pistol or maybe even like uh, pistol caliber carbine. You know, these will fit in there and these will stick into there. These are the harness straps that it comes with. So you got your two shoulder straps. And then uh, everything says multicam black on it. Uh, let's talk about the quality of the material. Um, this RDR gear, uh, I've never heard of it. Um, I'm old school. Um, 
gear that I've used uh, when I was in the military, uh, London Bridge trading company, like London Bridge Eagle. That was like the two big ones. I've got tons of their gear, used tons of their gear. Uh, tactical salt gear I've used. Uh, Camelback, their, their packs, their heavier. Um, Diamondback Tactical, I've used their packs. Uh, special Operations gear, I've used their stuff. Spec Ops brand, I've used the pack. I've used their pack, a lot of their web gear. Um, I've got an Eagle chest pouch, so uh, I'm familiar with higher end mainstream like, military-ish gear and the build quality. And then some of the lower end stuff I've used, uh, I've used some Condor stuff, which is lower cost. I mean, it, it works good. Looking at this material, looking at the build quality, the stitching, everything looks really good. Like, uh, I would compare it to any of those other brands. I mean, I don't see anything on it that looks subpar or low quality. Um, and a lot of those, it's, <laughs> it's, I'm not sure how to describe it, but you, you get a low end pack. Um, sometimes you can just feel them and it, it just feels cheap. This does not. I mean, this has the same like Eagle Industries type, similar like the, the Kodura nylon that they're using is the correct, you know, the, the legit material and it, it's a, it's a good, good weight and good feel to it, which is nice. Uh, the one thing I do like about this is it's very minimalist. So that's a, that's a good thing. So I'm going to put this together now and then uh, maybe we'll test it out a bit. Okay, hopefully you can you can see this pretty good. Uh, I've got the harness fitted on me. Um, it's kind of universal, the straps. I did buckled in the front, crossed over the back, and around and to the sides, kind of like my, uh, I've got an Eagle Industries uh, chest rig. I can't remember the model of it though, but uh, it's very similar to this, but it's got more pouches and kind of bulkier. And then there's a strap around the bottom. I just did that on the, on the back. I'm assuming you could also just do just straight across right from the top, straight to the back and then down. And then, so you could come up with some different different ways. Uh, I'll turn around so you can see. I need to obviously get some high speed tape and tape up the slack and some of the things. But uh, overall so far it's, uh, it, it fits good, I like it. I gotta see how the, uh, um, the pattern, the multicam black, um, it'll be interesting because uh, right now I'm, even my shirt is my old, I don't know, I got this real tree camo shirt. I, who knows, I've had this thing forever. It's faded, whatever, it, it, uh, it's pretty good in the fall. Uh, right now, out here, it's hard to say um, how this camo would even work, but uh, um, I've, I've got a lot of, from being in the military, uh, from my time, I've got some Marpats, Woodland. I also bought some Multicam just out in this area. It tends to change. Um, I always like the old school Woodland. Kind of curious on this, but uh, I feel like in the woods it's gonna work pretty good because uh, if you look this time of the year it's dark I mean it's it's uh, and the weather is always you know so so interesting here uh, but uh, yeah it's it's bright and green out here you go into the woods and it's dark I mean it's 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 interesting um, unfortunately this year the I probably got one on me now um, ticks have been just just horrible. Like I said, it, it looks like it's built very well. Um, the uh, the waist strap, I've got it, uh, granted I'm not wearing body armor, nothing like that, just just me, but uh, I'm small dude, my waist is 30 inch waist. I got it shrunk down to the smallest and it just fits my waist. So they may, you may have to like put in the notes or something when you when you write them and say, hey, I got a, I got a, a small waist because looking at this, I've got it shrunken down all the way. It's uh, doubled up, but yeah, it, it 
it's as small as it'll go and it just like it would almost be nice to have it a little smaller a little snugger on me but I mean this is nice and I think too I could tighten this up I could bring it up higher I mean it's it's kind of a neat thing so um, yeah like I said you could tighten it up bring it up higher have a chest chest level bring it down lower uh, it's pretty neat bring it down lower and then put the, the fanny pack on there neat stuff so yeah As hits the fan, um, uh, you may not have time to get all tacked, cooled up, have your multicam pants, shirt, whatever. Um, jeans don't blend in that great, but they don't blend in that bad either. Um, once you get behind some cover, whatever, but uh, yeah. And plus, I don't know if you can hear it's raining. Um, there's bugs, mosquitoes, ticks, whatever, everything's out here. Uh, yeah, it's good to get out in the weather, um, do some training, whether it's just running around through the woods with your gear to make see how it feels. Um, it's not a bad thing to do. I'm testing out this chest rig. Got a couple different magazines in there, seeing how I like it. Um, kind of getting used to the uh, multicam black. Uh, this is a good example. You can see behind me the green. This hat is an uh, old multicam. Uh, it's washed, faded. It's really faded. This shirt is like some old hunting shirt. It's like gray. It would almost be like that army digital in color. It just stand like I look like I'm like I'm a fed. I'm a glowy. I'm just standing sticking out like a <laughs> like. A, but then you look at this thing, the, the black multicam. Uh, I wasn't thinking that it would do so good in the green here, but it it like almost disappears. I mean, at least to me looking, you know, around here. I mean, it, it blends in pretty, looks like the dirty ground. I mean, it, it's actually pretty good. Um, I put a different cu couple different magazines in there. Uh, I even got one of the 22 uh, AR-15 magazines. You know, you gotta train. So um, one of the things I noticed they, they, they're in there very good. I mean, this isn't still going to cut. It, it's, it's held in very good. I did have to take the PMAG cover. I mean, you know, in the the crap is hitting the fan, you got to pop that off anyways. But uh, I had a hard time getting it in with that on there. So, but without it, I mean, it's... This thing wants... The retention is really good. That, that uh... It's pretty neat. So, and then I did do on this side the pistol ones and this top flap is removable because obviously you know the the whole whole jungle here can hear that uh, even though it's not a jungle but the woodland so you could either tuck it under and velcro it down and just have it exposed like that and it's quiet and you can you can get that pistol magazines But I mean, it's the same thing. The retention is, is great. I mean, you're not going to lose crap running through the woods. Um, but it's kind of nice because then, you know, if you're, if you're not expecting much action and just hiking through the woods, you can put the flap on there and at least keep your pistol magazines protected from, like right now it's raining. I'm just hiding out in the trees and don't want to run back because uh, I'm kind of dry right now. So.